So as you can see, it's a mess in here. Good morning, everyone. How is everybody doing today? Let's take a walk. We will be harvesting more turkey. We've got some more turkey growing out. My husband wasn't happy with just 10 pound turkeys. These are almost ready. We're gonna do, I believe that these are crayon apples. We have lots more tomatoes coming on. Lots more. <clears throat> Some are dying off and that's okay. But my big boys are coming on now. I missed one, my big boys. But what I wanted to talk to you about, saving seeds. This year we're gonna be saving a lot of our seeds this year. I've got a garden going here. I had to put uh, fencing over it so nothing got in it. Here, up in Western New York, I have to tell you that it is going to be an early winter here, I believe. Our corn is getting there. It's, on, it's done. I picked the last off. What we do with our corn is I save the stalks. I decorate with the stalks of the corn around my house. So out front near our sign, and around, you know, my house itself. And then I feed the rest of this corn actually to all the animals. All the animals, my chickens love this tops. My goats love them. My pigs love them. So, but let's look at these. The grapes are looking really good. Now, I don't know a lot about grapes, but I know enough. It seems like every other year, they produce a lot more. So this is the year that they're gonna be producing more. This is a white grape, a wine grape. These will actually turn white, and they will turn pink, a pinkish white. I wanna take you over here to the Concord grapes. And this is a little different. Concord grapes get really dark purple. So we've had a really dry year. And so a lot of them have shriveled up. You can still use those on the, uh, from the grapes. But what they'll do is they'll ripen up and they'll actually turn. <gasps> See them? So we're gonna wait on these until they get that dark, dark purple. All these, and they're a little bit mushy. If you eat them now, they are very bitter. What you want is the outsides to be purple and the insides will be nice and sweet. Here's our gourds. Our gourds are coming along nicely. You can see they're still growing out. There's a whole bunch on here. <clears throat> we have more pumpkins coming here. I don't know if they'll be any good, but. the nice cord. Now, this is actually a mustard, a mustard. 
so I'm going to harvest these. I do have carrots growing. I pulled my beets. And look at over here. These. Can anybody guess what those are? These are peanuts. So our sunflowers are doing really, really well. And we're going to be harvesting some of the seeds on the sunflowers. I don't know. We might. We'll see. That one looks eaten. So there's one of our pumpkins. Big that pumpkin is, guys. Look at this one. <laughs> they're absolutely huge. I want to show you how big they are. Oh, here's another pumpkin coming. See? There's another one growing. So here's how big the pumpkin is. Look at that. I mean, look at me and look at the pumpkin. You know, I'm a tiny little thing. Look at how big this pumpkin is. It doesn't do you any justice. I mean, they're huge pumpkins. with those girls. Don't sass me. There's two more back there. We still have pumpkins growing. So we are here at the end of our tour of the garden and what I would like to say is we're doing really well in our gardens this year. I'm really happy about it. Uh, this last week was a great week in the garden. Uh, the week before I didn't count so I'm going to tell you what that was. 20811 for the total for this week. Last week we did the turkeys and the garden, which was 108.07. For an actual total that we have gotten out of our garden and harvested animals, for a total of 769 pounds and three ounces. And everyone, that seems like a lot, 
and a lot of work, but it is so well worth it when you're in the middle of winter and you have a winter storm come in and you know that you have stuff downstairs in your basement or your pantry or wherever and that you know is there for cooking and that you have food already here on the homestead. It's, to me, there is nothing like it and I wouldn't change a thing here on our homestead. We love doing what we do. So thanks for watching. Doodles.